I feel like I've been to every store in my city today. I haven't, but it feels that way. So I've got a multiple store grocery haul, shopping haul to share with you. So let me get these groceries unloaded and I'll show you what I bought. Keep watching. And look, I was lucky enough to score two of these cases of ball canning jars. So I feel so blessed. If we're just meeting, I'm Denise Jordan and I teach traditional homemaking for today's homemaker. So if you want to learn more about making and keeping at home, hit that subscribe button and double tap that little bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Okay, let's check out my multi-store grocery and shopping haul. One of the things I went to the store to pick up particularly were these butternut squash. And I picked up three of these because I am going to make a dish that calls for butternut squash with chicken in my Instant Pot. And while I was away, a friend of mine dropped off these two spaghetti squashes. So I'll have to do another video where I show how you can use this spaghetti squash. I also picked up this bag of Old Fashioned Wide Egg Noodles by Mrs. Miller's. It's very similar to the Essen House Wide Egg Noodles that I really like, so I thought I'd just grab one of those. And then I'm continuing to add to my extended pantry as well as my working pantry that's here in the kitchen. So I picked up four cans of these whole baby carrots. I like this Kroger brand. So I picked up four cans of those and two will go in the working pantry, two will go in the extended pantry. And then some cans of pinto beans. And these are already cooked. So if I need to just dump something out of a can and get it cooked up pretty quickly, these will work. And then some black beans. I was looking all over for black beans the other day. I knew I had some in my cabinet, could only find one can. I was making chili, so I took the last can for the chili, so I picked up some more of those today. And I like the Bush's brand, but I'll take whatever black beans are on sale, actually. And then I also needed to pick up some more chili beans, since I had used some of those in the chili that I made the other day. I'm making that in the slow cooker, so I'll have to let you see that particular video as well. It turned out delicious. And then I found these cans of ready-to-eat German potato salad. I love German potato salad. I used to get it when I worked at this particular hospital. They always serve it in the cafeteria. Haven't seen any of it for a while, so I thought I'd pick some of this up for me. I doubt the husband will like it, but I will. And then I also picked up a couple of boxes of this free-range chicken broth. I realized I'd used a couple boxes of, uh, boxes of it off of my shelf, so I only had four boxes left on my extended pantry, so I wanted to pick up some more of that. And then last, the past couple of weeks, I couldn't find any black eyed peas. So when I found they had some October, I picked up a couple of bags of those. And then I'm also getting ready for Thanksgiving. And I like to use this Pepperidge Farm Classic Cornbread Stuffing Mix as the base for my cornbread stuffing. I'll make my own pan of cornbread, but I like the the spices that they have in this. And I've not been able to find any. I've been looking for some of this for a couple of months because I do make stuff in other times. And when I saw that they now had these in, I picked up four bags. So I've got enough for Thanksgiving and Christmas. Well, I guess I only picked up three bags. And then I did pick up some active dry yeast so that I can make bread. So there's that. And then also three packages of the McCormick Mild Chili Seasoning Mix. Because like I said, I did make chili the other day and I used up two packets of my seasoning mix at that time. So replenishing that stock. And then corn. 
cornmeal. I'm always on the lookout for the yellow cornmeal. I like this to make cornbread, corn muffins, and for some other recipes like polenta that I might use this in. And then my husband likes to use it when he's making his fish breading. So I picked up one of these. And then he likes this Louisiana seasoned crispy fish fry as a base. He will take this, mix a couple other things with that. So I picked up three packages of this for him. And then some cans of sweetened condensed milk. I picked up several cans of this. I use it when I'm making candies and pies and there's certain things I like to use it for at holiday time and if push comes to shove and I don't have any cream for my coffee I will also use it for that and oh I just realized I forgot to get my coffee creamer darn it well I guess I have to make another run And then my husband likes this Uncle Ben's rice and you just pop it in the microwave for 90 seconds. So I got some rice pilaf and then the long grain uh, and wild rice. So I got three or four of these. I only see two right now, but I know I got some others of that. And then a few cans of the Hunt's tomato sauce. And I like to get these eight ounce cans because then you don't, you don't have too much. And then a tri bean blend. There are dark red kidney beans, pinto beans, and black beans. So this will be pretty good in some kind of a soup or a salad. I'm gonna get these black eyed peas in the freezer and then I'll put some of these things away and then I'll show you some more. Over here, I picked up some trees. Halloween is coming, so I wanted to get some candy and have it ready for the trick-or-treaters. I also put some in my own personal candy jar, but for right now, I've got some the little fun size Snickers. Three bags of the fun size Milky Ways. I like to give the kind of candy that I like, so I give these to the trick-or-treaters as well. And then a bag of Twix. I also picked up a few lemons. I use these when I'm making my smoothies. And I also need some lemon rind for this um, dish that I'm going to make in my Instant Pot with the butternut squash and the chicken. So I picked up some lemons for that and other things. And then a few grapes. Nice and sweet. And then two bags of orzo. I love this little rice-like pasta in certain dishes. And then this is going to go in my butternut squash dish. So I've got a couple bags of that. Two bags of Hearst ham beans. beans. These are great northern beans and I love those and they'll go on my extended pantry once they've been in the freezer for a bit. And someone had said that they had trouble finding Libby's pumpkin. So I found some at the Kroger and I thought let me just go ahead and pick some up so I'll have it ready for Thanksgiving. I like to make pumpkin pie and all kinds of things so I'm all set with this. And then carnation milk. I use these to make our family fruit salad, the macaroni and cheese, and any number of things. So I wanted to make sure I had plenty of that. So I just went ahead and started picking these up. And the shelf at Kroger had milk there, but it wasn't as full as it normally is. So I'm glad I started picking these up. And this was just something I thought I would try. It is a pumpkin spice pancake mix, so we'll see how that tastes. And Kroger's also have this, this uh, seal meal like um, quart size vacuum bags, and it will work with my Nesco food saver, so I thought I'd pick up a few of those so my husband can use them as he's processing his fish. And then these, uh, this popcorn. It's really good, this white cheddar popcorn. It's delicious with tomato soup and chili. So, got that. So, these are the food items that I picked up at Kroger. Now, let me show you the meats. And I picked up two bags of these chicken drumsticks. I like to use them when I'm making soup, and there's a few other recipes that work really well with drumsticks, but I'm also going to use them in this chicken and um, butternut squash recipe. So, I'm going to bag them up smaller with some of my food saver bags. So I picked up two of these. They had them on sale. So I thought it was a pretty good deal for me to stock up on those. And then I like to go on Mondays to Kroger because on Mondays they put out their manager special, which is some things that they need to sell or get frozen pretty quickly. 
So they had this fresh pork chops here and they were marked down from 833 to 624. So I picked these up and I'm gonna get these right in the freezer, but I'm gonna repackage them. And then also they have this shish kebab thingy right here. It's got like chicken and peppers, red and green and onions. And I thought that looks pretty darn good. I think I will just have these for dinner tonight and we'll have the butternut squash dish tomorrow. So these are all the things I picked up from Kroger. So now let me show you the various things that I picked up from Dollar Tree and Walmart. So I made three other stops. I felt like I had gone to every store in Northeast Indiana today. I didn't, but it felt that way. I was trying to find a Lazy Susan because I need to address that spice cabinet. And I saw Darcy on Organized by Darcy use a Lazy Susan and a couple of little baskets in her spice cabinet. And I thought, oh, that's what I need. So I went to find a Lazy Susan. I looked at Walmart first. They had one Lazy Susan, one, and it was a two-tiered one and it wouldn't work for my shelf. So when I went to Menards, I found this and it's pretty deep. And I thought, well, since it's gonna go on, I'm thinking the top shelf in there, it'll help keep things from falling out of it. So I got this. And then this is a nice little corner shelf that I can use to organize in that spice cabinet. So I'll let you see when I take care of that. But right now, this is what I picked up. And then, you know, I like that J.R. Watkins soap. And they have that at Menard. So I got this bag of refillable gel soap to refill the bottles that I've already got. I'm really trying to go more with refillable bags or bottles rather than individual ones. So I can cut down on the amount of plastic that I'm adding to the footprint. And then some easy liner, shelf liner to go in that spice cabinet. And the real reason I went to Menards was because I needed some bird cakes. So I like to attract the woodpeckers. And so these are some little suet cakes that I like for my woodpeckers. So got this. So these are the things that I got at Menards. So I'm really pleased with those. And then when I couldn't find the Lazy Susan at Kroger, I thought, well, maybe Dollar Tree will have it. And I also wanted to find some little baskets to put in that spice cabinet. Well, of course, I couldn't find the ones I was looking for, but I did find these two um, at Dollar Tree, and they were just a dollar. So I thought, well, these should work, and if I decide I don't like them in the spice cabinet, I can find somewhere else in the house to use them. So I picked up two of these, and I'm out of paprika. So I was picking up a bottle of paprika and evidently I didn't read very well because this says ground cinnamon even though I took it out of the paprika box. Well, I'll be dipped. Didn't need any more cinnamon, but it will come in handy. So there's that. And then they have this beef flavored broth um, at Dollar Tree. So I picked up a couple of those. I don't use beef broth very often and I realize now this is beef flavored. So it's probably not the real thing, but I got it. And then at um, Walmart, I picked up these baskets. So since I couldn't find what I wanted at Dollar Tree, these are the ones I was looking for. I found them at Walmart, 96 cents and still the dollar. And there's three in there. And these are the baskets that I was looking for instead of those. So I found the baskets that I wanted at Walmart. And they also had a nice supply of food saver bags. So I got another couple of bags of the uh, vacuum zipper bags that you use with the handheld device because my husband really likes those. So I got a couple bags of those. And then I got a box of the pint size pre-cut bags that we can use with other items, particularly if you want to put just a few fish in a bag, that kind of thing, it'll fit right in here and it'll go through our regular food saver where we um, seal the top of it ourselves. So got those. So these are all the things that I picked up. Like I said, I felt like I went everywhere. So I am exhausted from shopping. But before I can wrap it up, I've got to get that meat and then get it repackaged. So let me take care of that and then I'll say goodbye. I got out my Nesco food sealer and the first thing I needed to do was to cut some bags off the rolls. And I like to use the rolls sometimes. These are not pre-cut bags. I have to figure out what size it is that I need and then trim them off. So that's what I did first.
and I wanted to pack these chops in as flat as possible. I found that by eliminating the store-bought packaging, it makes the packs a lot smaller. Once I get the meat nicely settled in the bag, I'll get the edge of the bag in the vacuum seal area. I've got to get it tucked under just so, so that when the vacuum comes on, it can suck all the air out. Once I push the button, it takes about nine seconds for it to process. And there you go, nice little seal. Now I'll go ahead and get the bags prepared for the drumsticks. It's as simple as sealing the end of the bag, cutting it to size, and repeating until I get the number of bags that I need. And once I get the bags cut, I'll go ahead and get the dates put on them because it's easier to get the dates on them before I fill them. It has a nice little strip along the edge where I can put the date and the contents of the bag. And it's best to get that on before I get it filled because once it's filled and the bag gets kind of shriveled up, it's very difficult to write on it. Sometimes though I think it might be better to put the contents on the bag closer to the top of the bag where it's going to be nice and flat after it's been sealed. Now that I know what size bags I need, I decided to go ahead and fill all of the bags with the chicken legs and then run them through the vacuum processing. I really enjoyed using my Nesco Food Saver. If you're interested in checking it out, I will put a link in the description box below. And I've also got a handheld device that might prove useful to you as well. I will link it in the description box below. Well, I ended up with six bags of these chicken legs. I put either four or five legs in each bag. So they'll be perfect for various meals that I plan to make. And certainly when I make chicken bone broth, I'll use one of these packs for that. It just makes the best broth to use for dressing or stuffing, whichever you want to call it. So I'll definitely be making some chicken bone broth to use in my holiday preparations. If you're getting ready for your holiday season, be sure to check out my holiday entertaining, my Thanksgiving 101 playlist, because there'll be all kinds of foods on there that you just may want on your holiday table including my famous mac and cheese, my holiday green beans, how to roast a turkey, and more. And here's a question for you. What are you trying to pick up now to make sure you've got what you need for your holiday entertaining? Tell me in the comments section below. And just so you know, I've raised three children and I have managed a home for more than 45 years. So if you want to learn more about making and keeping a home, hit that subscribe button. I can definitely teach you how to be a traditional homemaker in an untraditional world. In the meantime, this is Denise Jordan saying you are not done yet. Click on the link in the comment section below and check out my video on how to make a family favorite mac and cheese. It is the best recipe you ever want to try. And I will see you next time.